The initiative's really about enabling, recognising the importance of our patients being able to speak with our staff if they want to in their first language. Being able to offer the Welsh language is really important. I think there's a role for the board, there's a role for me to kind of show leadership in that. We really have to work hard to take really seriously our ability to offer all of our services in both Welsh and English. We're able to build on the initiative by really encouraging all of our operational teams to make sure that Welsh language is a priority. We've had fantastic support from the Welsh language team who've come along to all of our business meetings and shown us some videos about how the impact of Welsh language can have on our patients and their families. And through that then each of the teams have started to look at the competencies of their own staff in relation to Welsh language. They've started to encourage people to have Welsh lessons. They've started meetings with Welsh greetings and generally encouraged everybody within all of our clinical areas to really pick up the mantle and make sure that we're able to offer Welsh as a first speaking language to anybody that accesses our services that wants to do that. Need to cut live and after team go thread yadai e um roy session and with the yaith. I can deal in honey wedding, my hell with a respect I got an ethium ruyal of our board the echo wedding where a hoard and he have it, you need session and with the earth. Uh my hen with the recavlani, he had dread hot with border flower at bob level of our board the echo. We're taking full advantage of all the courses that are provided through Gwaith Cymraeg and we've committed to a 10-hour course that's on offer to us and we've had a first Welsh lesson. Within that Welsh lesson there was a lot of fun but there was also a willingness as demonstrated to really get into the culture of the language and learn the language. I'm keen to try and learn a little and ask some basic questions and answer some basic questions in Wales. I think we've got some really great quality language tutors in Wales actually and I think it's a, a real sign of the Welsh commitment to public services that we are able to offer people like me that kind of one-to-one -one tuition. And as a board, uh, you know, we have signed up to making this a really strong theme for the whole organisation and we're trying to lead very much from the top. Yn yr arfer i fewners, i fyd i gweld bod ymsych chi'n llysio ar y Cymraeg, mae fe lot yn well, mae pobl yn teimlo'n gartrefol, mae nhw'n teimlo'n gysurol, a hefyd mae nhw'n gallu ymateb lot mwy rhoedd a gweud yn gwmbos beth sy'n bod yn nhw. For other trusts and health boards, it is really easy to adopt what we've achieved here. It's really been about attitude, about working well with the Welsh language team, inviting them to meetings, being visible and present around the wards in the encouragement of Welsh language. What we've also done is we've made sure on all of our ward areas that where we have material that we want to put up on the walls for our patients or staff, that we make sure that we get the help of the Welsh language team to ensure that that can also be shown in Welsh as well as in English. The Health Board's commitment to the Welsh language is a very positive commitment given the area that we live in, the communities we work with, the number of staff that do speak Welsh, our patients, so therefore we're trying to do everything we can in instilling a philosophy and a culture of being able to use the Welsh language at every opportunity. Mm -hmm.